Heather Mason Forsyth is passionate about dance and uses it in science. She's a fifth-year PhD candidate at Oregon State University, researching biochemistry and biophysics. This video is important for understanding viral replication and viron structure. Dances through her team's research into a specific part of the COVID-19 virus. The nucleocapsid phosphoprotein. Easy for her to say. Basically, the structure that protects the virus. More structured proteins are rigid, locked in place for their specific role. Her dance video showcasing her PhD research won a national contest through Science Magazine. More disordered proteins are flexible, sampling many states. So why try to understand this? If you were trying to work on a car, you would want to know what the engine looks like. She says these proteins help the virus bind, remain stable, and ultimately infect people. What kind of things were you hoping to find? You could, in theory, develop a drug compound that disrupts that interaction, and now all of a sudden the protein can't do its job, completely destroy the virus. Sounds like a good call. Uh, that would be ideal, yes. It is, of course incredibly complex. But Heather is all about breaking down the complex. Her TikTok account called Hey Curly Top has nearly 50,000 followers. She showcases her team's findings, answering scientific questions through dance and easy to understand text. Dance and science are ultimately just storytelling to communicate whatever it is you're trying to communicate to your audience. Many nucleocapsid proteins start to attach using their structured regions. She says they now know a lot more about how proteins help COVID survive, but there are still questions about how a drug could work. Would disrupt the virus's ability to replicate. Ultimately, her art brings more people to the table. The general public has followed and become involved in science more than ever before, giving scientists a unique opportunity to share their work and talk about the scientific process. And shows the reality. What does this mean to you? It feels uh, both exciting and terrifying sort of all the time. Science at the speed of sound. Galen Etlin, KGW News.